Hey all, um, this video is going to be on our OLS fit and our inverted OLS fit of the data that we linearized with uh, logarithms for lab 4. So this is um, the summary and fits sheet that we've put together recently. Before this is all that's on it and I've added these three rows, um, 8, 10, and 17. I just, I mean, this spacing, I just needed it to be more than three or more than four. So I just made it big, any, any spacing works. But this is just a header saying that line S will read this column as X data and this column as Y data. I wanna stay organized because this stuff can get really confusing. So for our just weighted OLS, we weight everything by the Y um, uncertainty. We call them EY for error. I mean, we know that it's an uncertainty. It's just short to write EY, so that's why we use it. Um, so let's go ahead and get all of our X's times our all of our EY's. So we get X times EY. And we want three of them for all three lengths. And now we'll want Y times EY. Y. So I'll have equals y times ey. Why didn't that work? Oops, I clicked the wrong one. There we go. And we can drag this down now. And that is the data that we can use for our weighted OLS fit when we find the slope. Let's just get both of these tables together. Um, for the inverted weighted, we switch X and Y. Notice how now Y data is in the X data column. And then we weight by the new Y, which is X. So I'll have equals, and now it's our Y data times X error. Oops, oops, oops. Same thing as before. <laughs> good, we got it. And now we want our x data times the error on x. Oops, oops, oops. Good. Awesome. So now we can take our linus. So we have equals linus for line estimate. I recently realized that's what it stands for. Um, and so it takes y data first, and then it takes x data, and then it asks if we're looking for b, and we are. We know that we're not holding it at zero. We know that we answered a question about it earlier, so I know you all know. So true, we are looking for b, and true, we do want it to spit out the errors. Sweet. So this is going to be M, and this is going to be sigma M, and these are the only two values you're worrying about, okay? We come out with something on B, but we know it's not the right B because this data is weighted. Um, this is the only data that matters to us. Anyway, now we can get a Linus with this one. Um, equals Linus, and now we want our Y data first. Oops. And then our x data, and then true, true again. Great. And now we get the inverted m, 1 over m, and we get sigma, 1 over m. Sweet. All right, so we got our little table set up. Um, and we come out with our m, sigma m, and our 1 over m, and our sigma, 1 over m. Sweet. We have our OLS fit, or our weighted OLS fit, and our inverted weighted OLS fit. Um, and we only need one more thing to run through and be able to get our GMR fit for our final um, estimate of the slope, or of p. We need one more thing. So we need... Um, our average x and our average y 
so that we can solve for b later. So let's put that column into our summary table just so that it's handy. Um, so our average x or our average ln l equals average course. Oh, and it suggests b3 to b5, and that's what we want. So looks like we're golden there. And now we want equals average, oops, and then d3 to d5. Lovely. All right, so now we have our average x and our average y. So when we have to solve for b, we'll be ready. Um, and we have our m's. So our weighted OLS and our invert weighted OLS are all set. We are ready to move on to GMR, and this video is concluded.